Grand Rising Collectives and welcome back for another Octabulous Love Reading and everything in between. It is a beautiful day. It's so good to smell life, smell outside, smell new energy, smell abundance, smell happiness, smell healing, and everything in between. So this is a general, so only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. So your overall energy is comparison. Someone could be comparing you with someone else. You could keep comparing yourself with other people. Someone could be saying that there's no comparison. It could be somebody needs to take note of something here to look at things from a different way or look at what you have. Don't settle. It could be other opportunities. This is fire and air. It says we are all on our own journeys. We can try on someone else's skin as much as we want, but we end up having to be smaller in order to fit in it. This card shows up when you are exactly where you need to be, and yet you feel like you don't measure up to the image, expectation, or public perception of another. What you value in others, you possess. Consider what envy and comparison are trying to teach you about your own desires and why you won't let yourself hide them. So somebody may need to stop paying attention to the Joneses, get your head out the clouds. Do your own thing. We're not in a race. Because sometimes, you know, when, when your focus is all you focus, especially if you're focusing on everybody else's life, you're going to come off every time. Because everything you see ain't what you see. Now, you may be thinking that the grass green on the other side, but you, for all you, it's all spray painted. You let a good, good rain come through here, you're going to see all that stuff. <laughs> they said come out in the wash. You're going to see the real don't want what anyone else has and I don't know who this is for because this is what the card that came up telling somebody here to focus on your life have a better life because for some of you guys the life that you desire thinking that you want what someone else have or you may want something like it you, it ain't even what you think it is so I feel like spirit is telling someone don't get caught up on the irrelevant things don't focus on everything and everybody else because it can mess with your head. It'll have you thinking that you're behind, that you're not good enough. Look at all these beautiful women. And I ain't saying, you know, get props where props is due. But most of these people get plastic surgery. I'm just saying. Are they really happy? You see that? They started out real happy with them. Now they all getting stuff reversed. So see, you have to know that everybody, what everybody wants, they try to make look good, don't mean that they're really happy with it. All right? And that ain't for everybody. But I'm just saying, you have to be able to love yourself just as you are. And yes, you can make some improvements, but don't be trying to compete with everybody because you're going to lose every time. It's all about your self-discovery. Someone you're dealing with could be very, very insecure. They could be significant ace of swords. Somebody wants to date you, but maybe they don't feel good enough. Three of cups. See, somebody needs to work on their healing. They're going to start be an Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. What's going on for the collective in comparison? Why is this comparison here for the collective? You got comparison, rest. Somebody just needs to rest. Get your mind off of everybody else. Pamper yourself. Explore. You know, go do things you've never done before. Create, you know, create your own journey, your own path. Because Sometimes other people, you know, you can learn and you can, you can, it can work for you. But sometimes you got to find your own thing. Because what works for one don't always work for everybody else. It has to be individualized and customized. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like somebody is feeling somebody, but they're, they're knocking themselves out. They're not feeling it. They're not feeling secure. Because someone keeps overthinking things. They go to Eight of Swords. So someone is not happy with themselves. Look, they go to four of wands, though. Oh, that's a beautiful four of wands. Ooh, but somebody too broken to, to get it. Three of swords. So, by somebody being extremely insecure and broken, somebody needs to work on their healing. Because other than that, you're going to play it safe with the fool in the reverse and the death in the reverse. Somebody's time for somebody to find their self-worth with the Empress. 
five of cups because somebody is broken and don't seem like they're healing. So that's what Spirit is telling somebody. It's time for you to focus on your self-healing. Don't worry about anything else. Somebody could be denying opportunities here. But I understand sometimes you do need to stay to yourself. Sometimes you need to just stay quiet and work on your inner person. Because I'm telling you, people are going to be able to tell your issues by how you treat people, how you act. Somebody could be very, very insecure, but they're beautiful. Somebody could be just absolutely beautiful, just like they are, but they keep on finding fault within themselves. So other people's looking at you like, dang, well, <laughs> you are beautiful. What's wrong with you? Something wrong with you. Ain't that something? You see a, a gorgeous man or a woman, but they don't even believe it. And see what they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Everybody don't view beauty as the same. What person, what one person may not find beautiful, then the other person may fall head over heels over it. So it's almost like there's always going to be someone that wants you. It is. You may not want them, but maybe you should give them a second look. Because it's like we're such a vain world here, aren't we? We're so materialistic that we don't even look for substance anymore. We look for pleasures temporary pleasures at that because we know looks <laughs> some people don't age well I'm just saying but if you work on that inner man then you have that inner beauty that inner beauty can take you a long way when you love yourself it's going to exude out of your energy that you love yourself and you start attracting see because somebody's able to get it you just got to tap into their power here so let's see you got the uh, star in the reverse Aquarius Somebody could be losing hope. It's almost like somebody keep on finding fault with themselves. Like, I don't I, I don't have this. I mean, see, Spirit said, so you better get right. Ace of Wands, Six of Cups. For some of y'all, you need to work on your childhood issues. You need to heal from your childhood issues with the Six of Cups and this Ace of Wands so that your passion can be reignited, so that you can live a healthy, happy life. Because someone, somebody may have got picked on a lot when they was a kid, and they have never healed from it. So now they're adult. <laughs> now they are adult. And they're finding reasons why they shouldn't be happy and, and live. See, page of swords. I feel like somebody keeps looking back in the past. Or there's a need to look back on why you're like this. See, eight of cups. Somebody tapped out emotionally when they was a kid. See, they go to King of Swords. And now this person's always in their head and very, very insecure. Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You got the Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, Ace of Swords. King of Swords. Page of Swords. Shoot. See, and I tell you, somebody's very, very insecure. Eight of Swords, Five of Swords. So this is probably somebody here who go through life and try to act like they're normal. Like they everything is all figured out. But this is someone here who is very, very insecure. They're always comparing themselves to other people. And, and, and by doing so, they could find an ideal person, but they're going to nitpick it apart. They're gonna, they could find somebody here who they feel like is the ideal person of their life, but they're so insecure about themselves. Whew, something happened somebody is a child and they didn't get their validation somebody may have gotten told that they was ugly all the time see eight of wands here someone may have moved on someone may need to move on away from something because somebody's very very insecure see and there it is again the star in the reverse it's like somebody was a kid and broken. See, this is why somebody here is very, very selfish, very, very stingy. This could have been somebody here who grew up poor. Or somebody grew up and was picked on. Is what I keep hearing. Somebody was picked on. As a result, they're guarded. Nine of Wands. And they're still broken. See? It's three of swords. Gee. Oof. Somebody here, y'all. And somebody here, I feel like the more these phases happen in the moon, the more what has been laying dormant for so long is coming to the surface so that they can be dealt with. Because you got people here who's not been happy for a very, very long time. 
and they don't know how to release it. But sometimes you have to face it in order to, you know, there's somebody here who needs to change, who, who's uncomfortable with change, but this is exactly what they need. Why is the uh, Ace of Swords here for the collective? A spiritual breakthrough, a mental breakthrough, confirmation, clarity, communications. Somebody may need to speak to a professional here. Somebody may need to speak their truth. Somebody may want to tell you the reason why they've been acting so. Look, they go to five of wands because they got a lot of inner conflicts. See, I feel like your your love scared this person. See, Queen of Cups, because for somebody, somebody grew up with a very very bitter, toxic mother. See, Queen of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Cups. So they may have not been ready for this love. They may have not been open to love. See, somebody, somebody, uh, somebody never matured emotionally because somebody's mother stopped it. Queen of Swords in reverse. This is what somebody may want to tell you that they're damaged because their mother was cold, and it caused delays and hindrances in their life with the hangman, but it's also making this person look at things differently too. See, this person was scary. Person was scared of love. Scared, it's love. I feel like it, for somebody to have to be open and vulnerable, I feel like that scared them. It triggers them back to start thinking about all the things. Look, somebody may have went through a lot, all right, that triggers them. Something that they may have been embarrassed to tell you, all right? Three of Cups. Why is it Three of Cups here? Mm. Ace of Pentacles. But there is opportunities here once again. It could have been an opportunity to date someone. Or there's going to be an opportunity to, to date someone. To get to know someone. To be friends. Maybe you had a situation that you would not allow it to grow into anything more. See, because they go to Five of Swords. I feel like... I feel like when you get close emotionally to somebody, it, it scares you. See? And they go to Six of Swords. So you could have been somebody here who didn't do do well in, in, in groups. See? Because they go to Three of Cups in the reverse. See? Because somebody is very, very insecure. See? And like I feel like this is somebody who, who wants to be the man. But deep down, they're really insecure. See, somebody acting like a boss, but they really insecure. See, they go to Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles. See, that's why you got the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone has been faking it. Because they didn't want to deal with the pain. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So someone do everything like a kid. But when they out in the world, they try to act like they, they got it all together. But they don't want you to get close to them emotionally because they don't want you to see just how broken they've been. Page of Pentacles, see, and they go to fool in the reverse, see. But once again, spirit is, spirit is, somebody created a fort around their heart and their mind. But the universe is saying it's time for all it to come down, see. Because it's time for somebody to have a change in their life. Because somebody's been hurt for far too long. And there is the world, see. Somebody need to finally forgive a mama, forgive a, forgive somebody, let go of something, turn your back on it, and move forward confidently. Take charge over your life and move away from what breaks you down. Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Because I feel like there's somebody here who loves you or someone here who has feelings for you, but it's like you're pushing them away. Because maybe you don't know how to reciprocate, see? Because I feel like somebody's been broken for a long time that's kept them stuck. Eight of Swords. And when it comes to love, they don't know how to do it. See? But once again, Spirit is telling somebody, you're going to have to find your courage. Take control over your life. Now is not the time to play it safe. You've waited long enough. It's time for you to go get it. Because something is here for you. They go to four wands. So you got the four of wands twice. You got the fool in the reverse. Could be a Scorpio. Could be an Aries. Could be a Leo. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Fool in the reverse. Seven of Cups. I feel like somebody's just confused about relationships, period. It's almost like somebody here. Oh, somebody was confused. See? But I feel like somebody's opening up to their heart towards somebody now. Because you got that Queen of Cups up there too. See? See? Because this is destiny. Somebody's freeing themselves because of a soulmate entering into your life. And you're going to have victory in your life. Because you're going through a major healing. Which is transformative. Why is death in the reverse? Something that someone tried to avoid and denied is exactly what they needed to heal. And I feel like somebody came in somebody's life and they fought that. Ace of Swords, Five of Wands, Queen of Cups. Somebody was fighting that love because somebody was stuck in their head by all the stuff their mama told them. As the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords in reverse, somebody told them that it ain't no such thing as love. Ain't nobody gonna love you. See, your daddy left me. But not be trying to love nobody. If they tell you they love you, they lying. I ain't finna hug you. I don't want you to be weak. <laughs> Fool want no dead lovers. Gemini. Two of swords. I feel like somebody here was trying to avoid this connection. Like their life depended on it. But this is exactly what they needed. So they go to moon in the reverse. I feel like this connection was so intense that it scared them. Somebody, I feel like somebody really didn't know. Somebody may have fallen in love and it scared them and it freaked them out. Because they wouldn't talk that, see? And they go to the Empress again. Like I say, you got the Empress right here and the Five of Cups in the reverse. I feel like somebody intimidates this person because, see, because there's judgment. And for some of y'all, see, because they go to the Emperor in the reverse. I feel like this can, I feel like somebody wasn't taught how to be a man. Okay, somebody could have just been manipulated by a feminine energy here in a negative way. Somebody could have experienced a divorce when they was a kid and they didn't bounce back from it because they was forced to stay with the mama and the mama was bitter. So, ooh, but that came up in an upright. So see, this was what spirit trying to show this person. You got a connection here that's going to elevate your soul. This is what you need. Don't be like what you grew up in. Somebody may be a victim of a divorce and they're, they're practicing the same patterns. And I feel like Spirit's trying to show them, you ain't got to be like your mom and your daddy. <laughs> you got a choice. You know, grow up, grow above that. Four ones. So this is definitely a twin flame soulmate connection. And I feel like somebody didn't want you to see just how messy they were. They was a mess. They were damaged. Somebody didn't want you to know that they was broken from a kid. Somebody don't want you to know they was picked on or they was something. Six of four ones, eight of pentacles, see? I feel like this is this person is gonna start warming up to the fact that maybe they can work things out with you. Because once again, this person doesn't handle things well. This person has a lot of regret. But I feel like this person's being broken down so that they can build back be built back up because somebody wasn't dealing with the real issue. And like I say, somebody didn't know how to be a man. They go temperance, see? This is what somebody needs their life to be balanced out. Because I feel like they've practiced their life being cold and unhappy. And this is why you got this particular person enter into your life. So that they can heal you. You guys can come together and build a life together. So you got a soulmate coming in. But once again, somebody spirit said you're going to have to take a leap of faith. And trust that you got the right connection coming into your life. And that it is safe to love this person. You, somebody was fighting love. And this is exactly the person that's going to help you be your best self. Because they're not coming in here to judge you. They're coming in here to nurture you, to love you, to build you back up. And the way that they can build you back up is just un unconditional love. Somebody is heaven sent to you. Do you realize it? I said somebody is heaven sent to you. Do you know? All right. Well, that's your reading collective. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.